Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Life Experiences and today we're going to talk about caviar. So what is caviar? Caviar is a luxury food item that is traditionally the roe from sturgeon fish or the unfertilized egg uh, fish eggs. So in Greek and Roman times it was very scarce and was considered a delicacy. Um, but in the 1800s there was so much sturgeon in the U.S. that it was just plentiful and there was so much of it in the United States they actually used it and, and they used to serve it as um, Western saloons and just as like free appetizers because it was salty and it's kind of like today's pretzels they just served it to people so they'd eat it and then they'd be you know it'd be salty and they'd drink more beer so at that point it was plentiful what happened I guess is that uh, people saw it as got hooked on it, liked it, and then as it grew in popularity, there was overfishing of caviar, of sturgeon fish, which is really bad. And that led to basically the extension of wild sturgeon. And because of that, the commercial fishing of wild sturgeon and the trade of wild sturgeon is now banned throughout the world. And now in the modern times, we have commercial uh, we have um, aquaculture and we have new methods of farming sturgeon and that does not deplete the stock of wild sturgeon um, and there's other ways that we can actually get the caviar out of a sturgeon without killing it a sturgeon needs to grow at least about 10 to 20, 20, 20 10 years at least to be able to produce caviar these fish row but if it's treated properly, sturgeon can live till 60 to 100 years. And in fact, um, farmed sturgeon is a much healthier product to have because with wild sturgeon, um, they have a, there's a lot of contaminants in the water and they pick up a lot of these contaminants. So with farm um, sturgeon, it is more organic, it's sustainable. And um, so much of the sturgeon that we eat today is um, sustainable and organic. So caviar is a very good source of B12 vitamin and that is essential to um, red, bell, red blood cell formation and um, neurological function. It's also a great um, source of omega-3 fatty acids and those are good for um, decreasing heart disease risk um, it lowers your triglycerides. Uh, it keeps blood vessels, um, uh, I guess, from becoming stiff. It reduces blood pressure and it prevents blood clots. Here in um, BC or in Canada, we have um, some local caviar and this is Northern Divine. I actually like this product. Well, it is um, certified organic. It's made from Fraser River Sturgeon. Um, they are organic and um, their practices don't deplete the wild populations, pollute local waters, or harm sensitive habitat. What does caviar taste like? Caviar, so let's start off with the traditional definition of caviar is sturgeon fish. And um, the, there's different types of sturgeon fish and there's different colors. In general, the more concentrated the flavor and the darker the color, the more expensive and the more scarce. And I guess the darker the color, the richer the intensity of the flavor. Nowadays, uh, because we have new sources, you can, because caviar is essentially a roe or fish eggs, you can get that from other types of fish too. You can get it from salmon, trout, carp. It just tastes differently. In general, um, the sturgeon is considered the traditional caviar. So what does the caviar taste like? It actually doesn't taste fishy. And in fact, if you are tasting that fishiness, that probably is um, lower grade caviar. What caviar, in my experience, is when, we, when it's um, at the higher end is it's salty. It's a briny type marine type flavor, but it's very intense. And so that's kind of very, in my mind, that's very pleasurable. Some people also say that they like the texture of caviar um, 
because it's kind of like pops in little pops in, in your mouth to me that's secondary it really is the taste so here is the northern divine caviar you can see the color of it is very nice um, you should use you should not use a metal spoon to um, pick up the caviar you should use plastic or even better yet mother of pearl and you'll see the size of scoop that I use it looks a lot but that's the um, correct amount to taste so what does caviar taste like so I've just got a little bit of this northern caviar mm. I love the saltiness of caviar it's got a texture in the mouth that's really um, neat too in terms of it's very creamy but it's mostly the saltiness and the intensity of flavor it's very minerally it's very um, reminds you of the sea so it's really quite a, an intense flavor um, and really good caviar won't have this type of fishiness I think that's what I find with um, kind of less better less quality caviar you'll see a lot more um, fishiness um, it, like good caviar really is salty and marine like but not fishy when we're talking about caviar and I think um, sometimes people um, get the wrong idea because you see caviar on top of something or a dish and you go wow it's caviar that's really for just dressing and for aesthetics um, in my opinion you really get nothing out of that if you get a little bit of caviar on the top of that that's really just like a gold leaf on your food it's pretty it's aesthetically pleasing but does it really enhance a dish probably not because what happens is it is salty but if you put that little on it it really makes very little difference you really have to if you're going to um, try caviar you should try it not as a garnishing but as actually um, as a regular dish or by you have caviar in restaurants many times you're served with blinis which are like small pancakes and a whole bunch of other things creme fraiche sour cream chives eggs um, lemon slices that's all to enhance the experience because caviar is so expensive in my opinion the best way to eat caviar is really just plain and uh, with a, just a plain cracker or a plain toast. I actually don't like any of the other accompaniments because if my kind of rationale is if caviar is this expensive, then why would you want to add other things to it and kind of dumb down the taste? You would want to basically taste it the way it should be tasted um, and get the full flavor of it. And I, although those other things might enhance the taste or might accompany it very well, um, what you really want to eat is the caviar. How much caviar do you need? In my opinion, really you need a minimum of 10 grams per person to really get a good taste. So this as an example is a 30 gram tin. Um, this would be really good for two people, but you could probably have three people do it. What 10 grams will do is probably give you like three or four really good chunks of caviar on a cracker and you can always spread it out little by little but and like count it out in five eggs on one cracker but you really don't get that sense of it you really need the intensity of the taste and then way you can actually figure out if you like it uh, hope this has been useful i would love to have your comments i would love to have discussions on this and uh, share experiences with people until next time, happy eating.